Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to move terminal in Visual Studio Code. So first of all guys, go ahead and open your Visual Studio Code and then if you don't have it, just go here to your browser, search for Visual Studio Code and open the first website which will appear to you which is code.visualstudio.com and just like that you will be able to actually download it through here. Now all you need to do is click to download for Windows or you can just choose this or this to actually download for either macOS or Linux. After we finish with this step, go uh, and install it. If it didn't work in your PC, you can just open it in web. And basically, guys, these two softwares has the same uh, thing, like they are the same. So there's no difference between these two. Now, after we finish with this uh, installing process, now what we're gonna do is go to here. And basically, sometimes as you can see here is my terminal. Sometimes it will not appear for you. So how we can actually make it appear? So it will be something like that. It is pretty simple. You can see here the menu file edit section view go run in terminal. So click in terminal. You will find all of these options. So so go ahead and click on new terminal by clicking here or the shortcut which is Control Shift U. So let's click here and here is the terminal of course you can hear for example if you made anything in the terminal you can remove it by doing something like that so you will keep the same thing but you can remove it you can add new terminal through here uh, you can open two things in here two terminals at once and yeah that's pretty much it but how you can actually move it so let's open new terminal and basically to move it you can for example drag it so just hover it uh, put click on it and then drag it so if you can put it in the first place second place third place and the last place which which where it belongs so yeah guys that's how you can use terminal how you can create new terminal and how you can actually move terminal so guys thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial